Hi. Our topic today is the epidural analgesia in cattle. At the beginning we have to know about the anatomy of the vertebral column in cattle. The vertebral formula of ox consists of 7 cervical vertebrae, 13 thoracic, 6 lumbar, 5 fused sacral, and finally, 18 to 21 coccygeal vertebrae. The spinal cord itself ends in the region of the last lumbar vertebra, while the meningeal sac continues as caudal as the junction of the third and fourth sacral segments. The diameter of the neural canal as it passes through the sacrum is approximately 1.8 cm in the caudal part and 2 cm in the cranial part. While in the lumbar region the dimensions of the canal are much greater, as its width at the last segment being 4 cm. This explains why paralysis of the spinal nerves as far forward as the first sacral nerve can be produced with comparatively small quantities of local analgesic solution. Nearly 20 milliliters. Whereas paralysis of the cranial lumbar nerves necessitates the injection of much larger quantities. About 100 milliliters. Let's jump to the injection technique. Here are the five fused sacral bones. This is the first coccygeal bone. And here is the second coccygeal bone. The space between the sacrum and the first coccygeal bone is called the sacrococcygeal space and sometimes it is used for epidural injection in cattle. And this is the space between the first coccygeal and second coccygeal bones. It is called the first coccygeal space and it is the most popular site for epidural injection in cattle. The needle should be inserted either perpendicular or slightly directed forward. One drop of the analgesic solution is added, and the needle is advanced till suction starts. This suction by the epidural negative presser is a sign that the needle in the right place, and injection of the recommended dose can be continued. A dose of 1 milliliter of a 2% lidocaine per 100 kg body weight or 0.2 to 0.5 mg per kg is usually adequate to produce posterior epidural analgesia as the drug will spread forward in the sacral cavity and affect the terminal nerves of the spinal cord which are called the cauda equina and induce analgesia of the tail, anus, vulva, and perineal region. Increasing the injected dose up to 100 to 150 milliliters for 500 kilograms cow will allow much more forward spreading of the analgesic drug, leading disturbance of motor function of the hind limbs and greater analgesic area that extends to the flanks and umbilicus. Let's see a clinical case. At the beginning detect the first intercoccygeal space and insert the needle. Add drops of the analgesic solution to the hub of the needle and advance the needle till the negative pressure in the epidural space makes suction of the fluid. When suction is clear, start injection of the dose. Few minutes later you can notice the paralysis of the tail and analgesia over the rump, the tail, anus, and perineum. Thanks for watching our channel. Best wishes.